All right, boys and girls. So the question has come up a bunch about, okay, we now know how to add and subtract um, fractions. How do we add and subtract mixed numbers? And I will tell you that there are many different strategies for doing this, but the strategies that you could pick for adding and subtracting mixed numbers may not work. No, I shouldn't say may not, will not work when we get into multiplying and dividing mixed numbers. So I'm going to go with the strategy that's going to work in every operation. That way you can get used to seeing a mixed number and knowing exactly what to do. So what's really nice is because this is an addition problem, we are still going to be using the DAIS checklist. That DAIS checklist is for any time you are adding or subtracting. It will not work for multiplying and dividing. That will be something different. So what's different about mixed numbers is I want you to re just Try and remember in your head that you cannot add and subtract, multiply, or divide mixed numbers. You can only add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions. What's really nice is that we have a way to turn a mixed number into a fraction. And the type of fraction that we turn mixed numbers into are improper fractions. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rewrite the problem, but instead of having the mixed numbers, I'm going to turn them into improper fractions. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this mixed number into an improper fraction. This is an addition problem. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn this mixed number into an improper fraction also. So I know the denominator is going to be 5 for this one. And I'm going to use the C method trick. So we have 5 times 6 is 30 plus one more over here is going to be 31. So we have 31 fifths is our 6 and 1 fifths. And then we're going to do the same thing for 3 and 2 fifths. We're going to use that C method. Sorry for my terrible C. 5 times 3 is 15, plus our 2 more is going to be 17. So we have 17 fifths. And at this point, guys, everything else is totally normal. We're going to start with the DAIS checklist. The D stands for denominator. Do we have the same denominator? Do we have green light fractions? And the answer is yes, so we can cross that off. The next part of our DAIS checklist is to add or subtract, depending on what it is, to get the answer. So since this is an addition problem, we're going to go ahead and add our um, numbers. We know that if I have 31 fifths in one hand and I have 17 fifths in the other hand, when I put my hand together, I'm still going to have fifths. I'm not a magician. The question is how many. So I'm going to take 31 and I'm going to add 17. And I can't do that mentally without losing confidence in my accuracy. So I'm just going to set up a quick problem up here. 31 fifths plus 17 fifths, that would be 8. 3 plus 1 is 4. So now I have a total of 48 fifths. And that's the answer. But then, of course, we know that the last two parts in the IS checklist is to really decide, is this the best way to say 48 fifths? So the first thing I'm going to ask myself is improper. And I notice that 48 fifths is an improper fraction. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it into a mixed number. And so if I have 48 fifths, I need to kind of figure out how many groups of five I can make out of the 48. So I know it's five times nine is going to get me all the way up to 45 that I've used up. And then you can see that I have three of those fifths left over. So now I've turned that improper fraction into a mixed number. Now I'm going to go to the S simplest form. When I look at 3 fifths, it is not one and done for me to see. So up here, I'm going to do a quick F and do a 3 over here and a 5 over here. I'm going to list the factors of 3 are 1 and 3. 3 times, oh, there's nothing times 3 that makes 5. So you can see here I am 1 and done. So my final answer is a mixed number that I got from an improper fraction when I turn my mixed numbers originally into an improper fraction. So everything's the same, but you just have to remember before you can use a mixed number, you have to turn it into a type of fraction. So let's try another one. I'm tired of looking at that color. Let me grab the color green for this one. So we cannot do any operation with mixed numbers. I need to go ahead and transfer these guys into improper fractions. So I'm going to turn 2 and 3 eighths into, well, 8 times 2 is 16, plus 3 more is 19, and my denominator is going to remain eighths. And this is a subtraction problem. 
I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to turn this mixed number into an improper fraction. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 7 is 15. So 1 and 7 eighths is now 15 eighths. And I'll put my equal sign here. So now I'm going to go ahead and add and subtract as usual with my DAIS checklist. Starting with the D, common denominator. I can look and see I have eighths and eighths, so I'm good to go. Adding or subtracting, well, this one is a subtraction problem. So I'm going to go ahead now and get the answer by subtracting. I know that my answer is going to be a fraction. I know that if I have 19 eighths in my hand and I take away some of those eighths, I'm still going to have eighths in my hand. The question is how many? So I just need to do a quick 19 minus 15. That one, 9 minus 5 is 4 because 4 times 5 is 9. And 1 minus 1 is 0. So I have 4 eighths here. So I now have my answer, which is great. So now I'm going to check and see, is this the best possible way to say my answer? Improper, nope, 4 eighths is a beautiful proper fraction. My numerator is smaller than the denominator. And so I'm done there. And then simplest form, I can't see 1 and done. So I'm going to go ahead and draw the F. And I have 4 over here, and I have 8 over here. I know for sure I'm not in simplest form because they're both even. So I know that they could be knocked down in some way, shape, or form. So we have 1 times 4 is 4, and 2 times 2 is 4. I'm going to start over here looking for the greatest common factor. I know 4 times 2 is 8, so 4 is going to work. That is my GCF, and it's that GCF that we can use to knock down 4 eighths into a simpler fraction. 4 times 1 is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8. And I should know that 4 out of 8 is the same as a half. So my final answer is 1 and done. We have one half is the final answer. So again, everything is the same. All we need to do is make sure that we're always turning a mixed number into an improper fraction before we go through that DAIS checklist.